Hello, my name is Denny Johnson, and I'm here with AJ and Mary behind the camera. And our topic today is about the iris of the eye and how that relates to natural health. Mm -hmm. And AJ, you have some feelings about how the natural health world utilizes medicine, mm -hmm. and maybe you can illuminate us about that. Yes, I think before we discuss the iris, which is a very important discussion, actually, um, we need to d have some general commentary, perhaps, uh, in terms of your own observation and my own, about uh, how mankind generally goes about using the medical profession. At the moment, the profession itself is responding to the demands of people that they don't address the cause of particular problems that they face medically, but rather that they attempt to solve the effect only. And this is why we have such a large variety of medicines, tablets, uh, medication that is given to people all around the world, but particularly in the Western world. And, and a lot of it is to avoid the underlying causes or to actually avoid the, even the topic of even having to go to the underlying cause. And I feel that this is the main problem that we have in the medical profession on the planet. When we, when, we have a, when we see how we are constructed, we, ha we are a soul connected to two bodies. And the two bodies are the spiritual body and the physical body. Now, I suppose you could say most in mainstream medical profession, with the exception perhaps here in Brazil, of those medical prof professionals here in Brazil, around the rest of the world, most of them focus primarily on the physical body and trying to cure any of the effects that are caused by disease on the physical body. Um, here in Brazil, there's a bit more of a holistic approach even within the medical profession, isn't there? Yes, they're probably more focused on the spiritual body, but they really seldom really relate to the soul. Yes. So, so if you look at the both, uh, both the professions in the Western world and also man many of the Eastern type of philosophies from a medical perspective, you can see they're either focused on the physical body or they're focused on the spirit body. And they're focused on either one of those two uh, being cured in order to create happiness and well-being in the person or in the patient. And uh, this is where the soul is completely neglected. And the soul being what I believe to be the cause of all problems in both bodies is the thing that is actually neglected completely almost in every, in every form of medical practice. And, and in fact, we become addicted to trying to cure the effects without even understanding the cause. And uh, this is something, you know, when I say the cause, I'm not talking about the cause that's in the physical body because what science is uh, generally focused on is trying to find the cause of something in the physical body. Why does the physical body produce a certain disease or why does it produce a certain sickness? What, what's going on is the question they're constantly asking themselves without even many of them even looking at the fact that we have a spirit body that could be also affecting the physical yes. body. But then to go one step further and say, no, there is actually a soul that affects both bodies and if you cure the soul, both bodies automatically are recovered. Um, this is something that is generally beyond the medical profession at this point in time. Um, but, but it could easily be experimented with, with a bit of knowledge about, uh, about the whole system that makes up a human, but also with a bit of knowledge about the iris. And that's where the linkage comes in with the iris. So that's where I feel the medical profession is concurrent, uh, currently. And, and it's not so much uh, their own fault either. It's that mankind has become addicted to just getting rid of the effects of things. So when everybody speeds, we put a speed sign, hoping that that will somehow cure the speeding. Mm. And of course it never does. And, and all that people do is, what I noticed here they do in Brasilia, is they drive 80 or 90 kilometers an hour along the road until the 60 sign with the radar is there. And yes, then they slow exactly. down to the 60. With the camera. <laughs> with the camera. The camera takes a picture of them doing 60. And then <laughs> off they speed again at 80 or 90 kilometers an hour. So the camera and the speed sign made no difference to their behavior, really, uh, with the exception of the threat of getting caught. And, and this is, the, I feel, the problem generally, is we make laws that try to cure the effect of a problem without addressing the underlying cause of the problem. And this is something that is also dominant in the medical profession. 
what I like about the discussion about the iris is now we're having to consider that there perhaps is a cause that is soul-based and the bodies will reflect the particular soul-based cause if we understand how the reflection occurs and the eye is the perfect reflector of the soul it is in fact the doorway into the soul well the eye is a fascination for many people inside the medical profession and outside but especially in the medical profession they they like to look there's something about looking in there that brings them inside mm -hmm. so i've seen the medical profession here be very open to the instructions about what the iris might represent mm -hmm. For us to be able to describe what it means from a divine perspective and to be able to help them understand that I think might be a service. Yes, definitely. And also then we could look at how to um, address particular medical problems with the aid of, uh, of focusing on the cause of the problem, which is at the soul level of the individual, rather than trying to just continuously address the effects by using some kind of therapy or some kind of medical procedure. Well, you know, one of the advantages I think we have here, other than, say, North America or Europe, is that the allopathic systems of North America are not as dominant here. In Brazil, there was a policy decision decades ago to avoid the allopathic approach, which is arriving more strongly now, mm -hmm. and go toward homeopathy, mm -hmm. which is more the use of the subtle vibrations. And so they're more interested in the spiritual body than in North America. Mm -hmm. And there's also a lot of work here with spirits. So there's a lot of things about taking spirits out of the spiritual body. Yeah. But they're not really relating that to the development necessary in the condition of love. And therefore the development of the soul. Right. Mm. Yeah, so it's something we observe, have observed here during our trip, isn't it? This, uh, this focus on, I, I want there to be some kind of procedure or therapy that I can undertake. That, that helps me avoid the emotional process of having to deal with something. 